Hi, good morning. Thank you for coming. Um, this is the official launch of the Bermuda Air Ambulance Service. Uh, it's been a passion of mine for, my name is Gilbert Darrell, I'm the founder, president of the service, but if you scroll around, uh, every single person you see here has a huge part to play in this service being operational. So Bermuda typically has 200 plus people a year who need transportation off the island. For 10 years we didn't have a service. We were very fortunate to have Lois Brown service back in 2012 when they uh, no longer were operational. And without that, Bermuda's waited two, three days sometimes for an air ambulance service to come to the island. But now, with all these people's help, uh, we now have a service with this Learjet 55 that can bring people to the United States within two or three hours, which is fantastic. Uh, I want to thank all of our partners. It's easy to start because they're all wearing uniforms. So we have uh, Jet Logistics and Air EMS out of the U.S. who helped us get this going. They're our aviation and medical partners. We have St. John's Ambulance. Everyone in Bermuda knows them, but they've been fantastic. We need to bring a patient from the hospital to the airport. These are the guys that do it for us every time. Rain, snow, not in Bermuda, but you get the drift. <laughs> we have King Edward. Their nursing staff came to see us today. They're crucial. When you're sick and you're in the hospital, these ladies take care of you, their staff takes care of you, and they transfer the patient to us through St. John's to the hospital, uh, from the hospital to the airport. Uh, we have North Shore Medical, they've been a great partner for us. If you haven't heard of COVID, you have heard about it today. Uh, we still go through COVID regulations every time. So these guys have been crucial for us to have a fast and smooth experience to get through COVID. Um, one of our board members, Preston Hutchins, is here. Uh, incredible support from our investors, from our board members to come to make this aircraft to fruition. This is not cheap, in case you're wondering. Uh, we spend 2300 bucks an hour on fuel and maintenance every time we fly. We have to absorb those costs and it's huge to have the financial help from our uh, investors and our board members. The media, without you guys, no one would know we exist. This is a Bermuda service. I want all people in Bermuda to know about it. I want them to use it. I don't want them to wait for an aircraft forever or not have speedy service to the US. I need you guys. You guys have been fantastic. BCAA is here. This is a highly regulated business. On the medical side, of course, but on the aviation side, this might look like a medical aircraft, but it's an aircraft. We have to meet US standards, we have to meet European standards. And BCA has been critical for us to meet those standards and been great partners for us to have here. I want to make long tail. This is actually their hangar. So you get a full 360 here. They leased a the hangar from Skyport. They've been fantastic getting us access to the hangar, getting in here, getting the plane service, dealing with, you know, maintenance issues, so big thank you to Marty at Longtail for their help. Dr. Arnold, our medical director. The other side of the aircraft business is the medical side. So we have to, with our, our Air EMS staff, have really high level medical care. Uh, there's hundreds of patients a year who have to go out on an air aviation service. And now that we're operational and running, Bermuda doesn't have to wait anymore for a fast aviation experience to the US.